Welcome to Pista di Fiorano here at Maranello. This is where they test the Ferrari cars. However, today they're testing the Ferrari fuel. So which is quicker, F1 fuel or road fuel? Well, we thought perhaps a double world champion would help us find out. Fernando, good to see you. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Good. Good. So today, the drums behind us tell us what we're doing. We're testing high street against high octane. What's the plan for the experiment we're doing today? Well, we try to, to prove and to show everybody that we can run in the Formula One car, in the Ferrari car, our normal uh, fuel that we use in all the races. And then we will put the normal fuel that we can, we can find in the fuel station yeah. and show that uh, we can still running because right. uh, the fuel difference between the two is minimal at the moment. It's going to be interesting because this experiment has never been done before. So you're something of a guinea pig today. You will either get 100 meters down the road in the road fuel or you'll be even quicker than with your F1 fuel, which will be interesting. I think quicker will be difficult because <laughs> obviously, if not, it means that the yeah. job the Shell has done for Formula One in the past year is not very clever. Uh, so I expect some, some kind of uh, less power, but yeah. uh, as I said, not too much. And uh, if there is any big problem, hopefully you cut and uh, we don't show. <laughs> So Fernando, as far as the fuel's concerned, how good is it feeling? <laughs> Fernando, the fuel is faster than you. I wasn't really pressing the button. I wasn't. So Fernando, what's what's happening now? Now we are uh, emptying the car, so uh -huh. removing all the fuel, and now we will uh, fit the standard fuel we, we find in the, in the station and uh, hopefully it will work. What do you think is going to be different? Do you think it's just when you put your foot down you're not going to get that, that immediate response? I think maybe it can be a little bit different or it can be a little bit uh, problems with the engine in the pickup at the exit of the corners. For sure, oh, I guess will be less power, so maybe yeah. there is not uh, the full power available. And then uh, we'll see, hopefully it's not too big the difference. Looking okay for road fuel, isn't it? What are your first impressions with road fuel in the car? I think the reset has got a set it. All the strong pickup problems, but the, the power is just okay. Basically, what we're thinking at the moment is it's about a second's difference, but we'll hear from the man himself as soon as he comes in. Box, box. Well, Fernando, before we have a look at the telemetry, from the driver's perspective, how different did it feel? No big difference. I, I was surprised. Uh, in terms of power, I felt no difference, in fact, or maybe a little bit less, but here, obviously, it's difficult. We need to be in a race situation. Maybe the biggest problem was the pickup. A little bit of excitations in the engine, because I think the maps are not optimised for that fuel, etc. OK, well, let's go through the telemetry now and get some proper analysis on how this works. Shall we? The blue, which is the standard fuel, you see a little bit less acceleration in all the corners. But then, as it's explained, on the top speed is similar or even better the standard. So we just need some remapping and some work with the, with the engine guys, for sure. I think it's a remarkable message for people because they think that everything in Formula One is alien to the world that they live in. But actually, the fuel that you can have in your car is as good, if not better, at instant pickup than the fuel in a Formula One car. It's Absolutely. amazing. Super. Well, thanks for the experiment. Good news. Good news. <laughs> Thank you. Thank thanks you so much.